In today's video, I'm sharing 10 simple secrets to making the clothes that you already own more exciting. Hi, I'm Leone and welcome back to my channel. We are all in the midst of a worldwide health crisis. And while I don't want to trivialize that, I do appreciate that a lot of us are spending more and more time at home. So this got me thinking that perhaps now is as good a time as any to get on top of our closets. In reality, most of us don't have the time in our busy lives to really play in our wardrobes and make the clothes that we own work hard for us. So today's video is all about making the clothes that you already own feel brand new again. First up, it's time to get organized. Let's face it, if you can't see the clothes that you own, you are never going to be able to put together outfits. So it's time for a declutter. Now don't panic about this. I have created some decluttering my wardrobe type videos before. I'll link them in the description box below so you can check them out. But you really do need to ask yourself the hard questions and have a really good look at everything you own. You will be surprised. You'll find some gems in there that you've forgotten that you even had. So first and foremost, get organized and declutter. But what I am suggesting in this video is not to get rid of anything at this point, because once you've got a clear picture of all of the clothes that you own, you may need to bring some of those pieces that you'd originally discarded back into the fold. So declutter, but don't let go of anything just yet. When it comes to making the clothes that you own work harder for you, it's really important to get a, a real sense of your own style. And one of the easiest ways to do this is to get inspired. So I always jump onto Pinterest or social media, save images of outfits that I really like. Quite often you will find that you do own many of those pieces, but you just haven't thought about putting those different pieces together to create an outfit. So it is really important to use this time to get inspired and jump on Pinterest, look in magazines, whatever it is, really have a look at some fashion outfits and some people whose style that you admire, get inspired and that's a really great way to start this process. Oh, and I'd love to know from you guys, have you recently rediscovered something in your closet that you haven't worn for a long time? If you have, please tell me about it in the comments below. And that leads me on to my next tip, which is basically, changing your mindset. I really truly believe that shopping your own wardrobe and creating looks from the pieces that you already own is a lot to do with attitude. In fact, I'd go as far as saying it's 95% attitude. It's about thinking about what you own rather than focusing on what you don't own and what you would like to include in your wardrobe. And changing that attitude is often about just seeing things through different eyes. And the only way you can do that is to get inspired, which is why the previous step leads on to this one. So get inspired and then hopefully that will automatically start changing your attitude to the clothes that you own. Great outfits are more about styling than they are the individual pieces. So what I suggest you do is do some online shopping. Now I'm not saying purchase the pieces, but go to some of your favorite websites and some of your favorite brands and see how they're styling things. See what color combinations they're putting together. See how they're accessorizing outfits and get some inspiration that way. And then it's about going back to your own wardrobe and seeing if you own some of those pieces that you could create some of these outfits. Generally, it is about seeing things differently and it's not usually about the individual pieces. And if you do have a closet full of clothes, you will be super surprised that you can pull different items together and create some outfits that are new and exciting. And this, in my opinion, is the easiest way to bring and breathe new life into the clothes that you already have. So jump online, check out some of your favorite brands and websites, see how they're styling things and go back to your closet and see if you can replicate it. 
My next tip is to play dress ups. Now often we are too busy to be playing around in our wardrobes and I have talked about this in videos previously, but I can't overstate how important it is just to invest the time. Most of us do think that we can just get up in the morning and create outfits without putting in the groundwork. So now is a good time to play dress ups, pull together crazy combinations that you perhaps wouldn't naturally think work together, but you may be surprised that sometimes something completely unexpected can create an amazing outfit. It is about time and perseverance and just having a bit of a play. Another thing that I suggest doing is looking back at old photos of outfits that you've worn in previous years. Now this may be just going back through Facebook or Instagram or just family photo albums and have a little look at some of the outfits that you really loved, some of the outfits that you felt perhaps didn't work so well for you, and try and work out what it is that you like and don't like about some of those outfits. I'm sure you'll discover some of the pieces are still hanging in your closet now, and perhaps this will prompt you to, to bring them back and recreate some of these outfits. Maybe you'll need to add a slightly more modern cut of trouser or there may be a really easy way to modernize the outfit, but go back to some of these photos and outfits that you've worn previously and recreate them. Quite often I find we will create an outfit we feel great in and for whatever reason we just forget to recreate that outfit again and we don't wear it. And some of those pieces will be hanging there in your closet. So go back, get inspired by some of your own outfits and then revisit those pieces. Now I have to mention this one and it's not absolutely crucial, but we often neglect our underwear drawer. So now is as good a time as any to get in there and do a bit of a detox. You never know, you may even find some pieces that you have never worn or haven't worn for a long time or bras and knickers that haven't fitted you in the past and fit you now. Don't neglect your underwear drawer because it is an important part of an outfit. So now you've got a little bit of time, get in there and do a little bit of an underwear drawer detox. This next tip is a really simple one and it's just about creating a gorgeous closet. Now I don't mean investing a whole lot of money or spending a huge amount of time, but what I am saying is if you enjoy that space and you like how you've merchandised your closet and the hangers that you, you use and the system that you have in place, if you like that, you will be more inclined to be inspired when it comes to putting together an outfit. So if you do take a little bit of time just to make sure your closet, your wardrobe is a nice place to be and a nice experience. If you go to your closet and it's jam packed, you can't see anything, you can't move anything, it's always going to be a stressful time. So if you make a little bit of time to ensure that your closet is a nice place to be, then I promise you it will just make the whole process of pulling together outfits from your existing clothes much easier and far less stressful. Another way to get out of a bit of a style rut is to set yourself a challenge. Things like the 30 by 30 challenge are a great idea. If you haven't heard of this before, it's basically just choosing 30 pieces from your existing wardrobe and over the course of a month wearing nothing else except those 30 pieces. I love these sorts of challenges because they really encourage you to be extra creative with a limited amount of clothes. So think about doing something like this. It is all about trying to inspire you to get a little more creative and in my opinion, I think this is a really good way of doing that. My last tip is to drag out some of those accessories that you haven't worn in a long time. I really believe that accessories can take an outfit from zero to hero in an instant. Whether it's wearing a pair of statement earrings with your favorite sweater or dragging out a scarf that you haven't worn and tying it to the handle of a bag that you haven't used for a while. It's all about just elevating a really simple outfit and making you just feel a little different 
different and making sure that you use some of those accessories. Pro tip here though is that often we stash our accessories away and what I feel is if you can't see them, you're not going to reach for them and you're not going to wear them. So try and merchandise your accessories in your closet if you can and in your room if you can in a way that you can see them and that they're really accessible. That way you're more likely to grab them when you're creating outfits. Anyway, that's it from me today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, I would love you to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more. In the meantime, please stay safe, healthy, and we will all get through this crazy time together. I won't make it easy for you now. You got two minutes of my time. I'll slip into your dreams tonight oh, oh, oh.